CBS 12 News starts now. New information tonight in the wrongful death lawsuit against tennis star Venus Williams. Attorneys for Jerome Barson, the man who died in the crash, are speaking out to CBS 12 tonight for the first time. CBS 12's Maxine Bensel investigates. She joins us live in Palm Beach County with the family's new demands. Maxine? They have subpoenaed a long list of items from Venus Wilson, including Venus Williams, excuse me, including her driving record and any medication she may have taken prior to the crash. Palm Beach Gardens police say that Venus Williams lawfully entered the intersection seconds before another car crashed into her Toyota Sequoia last month. 78-year-old Jerome Barson, the passenger in the other car, died 13 days after the collision. Since then, his family has filed a wrongful death lawsuit, claiming the tennis star is at fault. Today, an attorney representing the Barsons say even though police determined Williams lawfully entered the intersection, they're proceeding with their lawsuit. They've now subpoenaed over 20 25 items from Williams. Very serious crashes such as this, it is routine to subpoena all the records and find out all the evidence. They're asking Williams to produce a copy of her driving record for the past seven years. They're also demanding any prescriptions or medications taken by Venus 72 hours prior to the incident. Attorney Gary Isco. We're trying to find out the reasons why Miss Williams seemed indecisive or distracted why she sat there and just let vehicles turn in front of her, why she proceeded on a red light without making sure the coast is clear. The subpoena also requests any and all cell phone bills for the month of the crash from Williams. Attorneys for Venus didn't want to comment on the specific request today, but did say that each party is entitled to discovery. They said they don't know what their client will produce yet. They're not at that point. The crash is still under investigation tonight. Reporting live in West Palm Beach, Maxine Bensel, CBS 12 News.